Hello, Hyper RPG, and welcome to episode two of He Left Dead, a Call of Cthulhu RPG. How are you all tonight? Great. Well, to the I thing. think somebody Jesus. left a character sheet from the last yeah. <laughs> show. Just throw it on the pile here. There's a nice illustration. Yeah. I like it. Uh, yeah. Let's oh, just, just wait, any, if yeah. anyone wants to just play with that when they can. <laughs> okay. And right. we'll just see what happens. Uh, we, we're sort of loose with the rules on Call of Cthulhu. That's, uh, that was you. That was Norm. No, oh, well, that's normal. I was not wearing any top, and I'm quite attractive, so <laughs> that makes sense. No, absolutely. Hey, speaking of attractive and making sense, <laughs> hey, Bert, Bert Jennings, hey, welcome to the table, man. What's up, Bert? Oh, uh, you know, just so excited to be here. Mm -hmm. Also, not I'm scary. It's going to be uh, hopefully very, very spooky. Uh, you guys have uh, the opportunity to uh, directly affect uh, the sanity and well-being of these characters throughout the game. You have the opportunity to straight up just affect the narrative of the game. Uh, you guys made some really big moves uh, last week, some of which are going to start coming into play uh, right out the gate today. Let me walk you guys through those incentives. So um, for $25, you can add a, uh, and a hashtag re-roll. You can just add a re-roll to our cumulative uh, pile. Uh, rolling successfully is not easy in this game because this game is not meant it's to hard. really help these players in any way. So those no. re-rolls can really, really help them out. Uh, for $30 in hashtag sanity, you can uh, cause a character to have some sort of uh, positive uh, memories and things they hold dear to sort of come in and sort of help boost them back and pull them back from the brink. Cool. Uh, they'll get 1d4 plus one worth of uh, sanity back for $35. Hashtag insanity. It's more fun. Uh, you can cause a character to uh, sort of go on the more uh, traumatic side of their background and they will dip 1d6 deeper into madness. Uh, and this is a fun one too because if in any encounter uh, with your sanity check, if you lose five points of insanity, I feel like I'm about to pull someone's heart out and short round is about to start screaming. Uh, I love, uh, uh, if you <laughs> if you lose five or more points in any one sort of uh, moment of, of trauma, uh, you're insane. You suffer uh, a bout of madness and then the fireworks start. So that is, you've got some really big chances to just sort of mess with everybody there. $50 hashtag phobia, you can give a character of your choice a phobia or a mania. So last week we discovered, uh, God, your, yes. your, your horrifying fear of <laughs> the smell of pumpkin. It's very rational. Pumpkin spice. Yeah, absolutely very, very, very rational, very <laughs> tragic. Uh, you're scared of numbers. We haven't really gotten oh, into that yeah, yet. Really uh, you have a general fear of numerology. <laughs> Um, oh, you're gonna really love. Or you can give someone a mania, <laughs> if it, not just not just a fear of something, but you know some kind of mania, like maybe they have a thing about multiples of five, uh, you know, or maybe when they get really tense, their hand starts to shake really bad, and then their wife is immediately like, "What's going on with your hand? Are you tense again?" And you're like, "I'm not anxious at all. Leave me alone." So not based you know, manias, things like that. At yeah, all. that's uh, <laughs> those examples aren't based on reality arbitrary. at all. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, uh, for $75, hashtag crime. You can create a gruesome yeah. crime that There's has also plagued London. There have been a couple already. Yes, um, one that has not plagued London. Yeah. It was way in the countryside. Yeah, uh, well, uh, and I'll tell you guys, uh, those have already changed literally the big bad of the arc. So those are awesome. And then uh, for $100, hashtag WW, you just force poor Peter Strump to transform into his beastly alter ego. Oh, oh dear. We just, we just jump right into oh, damn. it. Damn, okay. Uh, that's a new one. So yes. that's yeah. pretty much our housekeeping. We're also, doing, we're also doing a giveaway tonight. What's our goal on the giveaway? 1K, if we hit our 1K. If we hit our 1K goal, uh, we will be doing a giveaway. Uh, this is a book <gasps> called Cyberside. Aww. And that's a man's there? name on it named Burt Jennings. That's pretty cool, Dude, uh -huh. man. That's Congratulations. Cool. This Thanks. is really, really cool. That's, that's, awesome. a, that's a print. Yeah, that yeah. cover is yeah. great. Yeah. This that's is cool really, really that cool. The person that wrote this book has the same name as you. Yeah. 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 So I now I want to uh, win it and see if <laughs> his work is good. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I, I bet like, it's great. I bet you wish you were as talented as that person. I wish, yeah. Right? 
so yeah, if we hit our goal tonight, we'll be giving a copy of this away. Uh, after the show, tune in for Magic the Gathering. Matt, who else playing? Me, my Lynn, and Josh Jones, who is uh, my biggest rival. Nemesis. I will show oh. up for a little bit, and that just to uh, egg on the fact that Josh is better than Matt, and then I will probably have to get ready for And my Lynn is like, she plays the con girl. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, she's yeah. Really good. I don't know what's sweet. going on. She I is, win. She's very diplomatic. Yeah. Okay, okay, sweet. Well, uh, yeah. so that's all our housekeeping, guys. We're going to get in. Oh, oh I will say else? really quick. Yeah. Um, on all of the incentives that people can tip towards, the rerolls are cumulative, so you can give as little as one dollar towards a reroll, all the way up to the twenty-five. It all goes towards the same reroll, but that's the only mm -hmm. one in this current show that's cumulative. The okay. others are all out. You know, yeah. you do that. Cool. Donation you do the amount. thirty, or you do the thirty-five. Yeah. So that one's yeah. cumulative. Okay. You can give as little as a dollar, all the way up to the full thing. So Perfect. it all adds up. Okay, cool. That's good for me to know. Thank you very much. Uh, with that, let's get into episode two of He Left It Dead. The Curious Case of Peter Strumpf. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> is that the full title? That oh, is the is title of tonight's episode. Oh, oh God. Mm. Oh, shit. You're going to start aging backwards, aren't you? <laughs> we begin. <laughs> uh, we begin in a small village in Wales. It's a coastal town. Um, at some point, this might be a nice vacation spot. Uh, but for now, it's just fishing town, the mountains are in the distance. It's one of the only sort of fishing towns in this area in Wales. You know, obviously, a lot of sheep, a lot of... Uh, miners. Yeah, a lot of sheep, a lot of miners, a lot of tin, a lot of copper. Uh, this is a very sort of small settlement. Uh, a fishing boat has just come in, and just a townswoman is helping unload the boat. The nets are full. It's been a great catch. Uh, she assists. She drags just this weather-worn just Welsh lady. Um, they drag a net to the side. Someone grabs a <laughs> knife. They cut the net open. The net falls apart. And uh, it's, uh, it's you know, a lot of different fish, a lot of uh, flying fish, uh, specifically. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Isn't Weird. That, Pain isn't the that scene, I get it. And suddenly the woman screams. Uh-oh. And screams and screams. Until finally, the other people helping the boat, helping unload the boat, finally really start to notice what's what's actually going on, that she's not just startled, that something has actually happened. And a small crowd gathers around her. And in the net, in the water, is the waterlogged body Ugh. of a boy. I knew it. Two police officers, several hours later, two police officers just stare at this body, just perplexed, not sure what to do with it. Um, there are, they've been examining it. There are carvings down the sides, uh, in between the fingers, almost. Um, just jagged lines have been sort of carved into this, into this boy's skin. They're examining the hand when the mouth happens to just fall open. Just a little. Uh-oh. Gravity being what it is. And the police officer realizes that there's something in the boy's mouth. He has his, his deputy pull what seems to be a waterlogged piece of parchment rolled up out of the boy's mouth. The deputy looks at it, stares at it, hands it to his superior. His superior reads from it. Uh, sort of surprised there's anything on it at all. And he reads, "'Tis the eye in the dark, the unmoving stare, and where its glance strays, the Grey King is there." Grey King? We cut to Apollina, Lady Wayward. You are sitting in this, what we're calling a chapel, because that's our word for whatever this, this is. hidden room. This hidden room. Uh, you're sitting here with this small girl who has identified herself as Sarah. The rest of your companions have just gone down 
a flight of stairs. They've gone through a trap door that they found behind this altar in this chapel. You're just sitting with this girl who's just staring at you. Not really blinking, not really reacting in any way that you would think a child would react to what's going on. She doesn't seem particularly scared. She doesn't seem particularly clingy. She's just staring at you. Sarah? Pretty name. It's mine. Did you happen to meet another girl named Sarah? She has yellow hair like you. She sort of racks her brain a little bit and She's sort of actually does some thinking. Smaller than you. She nods. Likes rabbits. That she sort of stops nodding on, but she nods. A little bit of confirmation. Did she disappear with the others? She was on the carriage. Did you know her? She was in the room. Did you see anything else? Who took her? People that wanted to hurt her. Are you going to hurt me? No, love. Are you lying? I look like I'm lying. Yes. That is, again, this girl. There's just something unnerving about her. Something, uh, there's just something older about her. Something a little ageless. You've encountered something like that before. It was not necessarily a pleasant or safe moment for you. And so I'm going to ask you to roll against your sanity. All right. Because of your phobia of children. Thanks, chat. <laughs> there you go. So it's I'm a rolling? good thing we're not looking for a bunch of lost children. Yeah, <laughs> right, exactly. right. Yeah. Good thing I'm not looking for one specific child, mm-hmm. right? Okay, so what does this oh, mean? That's bad. That's 95. Oh, shoot. Okay. No, that's good. Oh no, it says no, that's lower. bad. No, that's yeah, really that's bad. bad. That's, that's, really that's really bad. bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, so okay, so no you failed right? that. Check. You should normally do pretty good in this, right? <laughs> no, I don't believe. Yeah, no re rolls yet. No. No. Um. Okay. So uh, now I want you to roll one d six. We're gonna find out <laughs> what the sanity situation is in terms of loss. All just, your, just one. Oh, just one. Of two. Pick your poison. Okay. This matches my outfit. There you go. <laughs> Come Ooh, on. That's oh. Okay, that's not bad at all. There's a moment where you are positive that this girl means you harm. She means me harm? Yes. Okay. You back away from her suddenly, almost pushing her away. I stand up. Take a moment to catch your breath. But then it passes. And we leave you. I'm assuming you want to just, you wanna, you'd like to stay here in the, in the uh, chapel? Yes, with but the girl? to, before, mm-hmm. I wanted to keep her company so she wouldn't be alone. Mm-hmm. Now I want to keep an eye on her. Okay. So you have a, a prisoner now more than you have a guest. Yes. Okay. We cut to darkness. It's dark in here. Uh, yeah, this is cool. It quite is, but just, you know, be on your guard and we don't know what we're going to find down here. 
What? Are did none of you bring a torch? The three of you are. Um, <laughs> the three of you are, are walking down these steps. Uh, who's in the lead? Who I went down first? I believe. I think I went down first. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, you went down first. You're a f you're a few steps ahead. You Hashtag have your roll you have your lanterns of the dark. Thank you. Uh, we have a reroll. Uh, um, make sure to get those text alerts turned off <laughs> as far as text speech name. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So you have you're sort of leading ahead with your lantern. Uh, the two of you are following behind. Mm -hmm. I have uh, my lan the lantern in one hand and then my my flintlock in my right hand. Just okay. Ready to go. Um, the stench is bad. Uh, intensely bad. Uh, the lantern is just sort of focusing a little light towards you as you walk down these wooden steps. They fall, they end uh, in a small landing that is more just wooden, hastily uh, put down wooden plank. You're not really even sure if it's nailed in or just sort of, you know, uh, Piled in, it's uh, uh, it's dirty. Should warn you all, I don't do well in tight spaces. Are you going to unleash? The, can you control the beast? Is I can it? control it, but if, if for some reason I cannot, this is a bad place for me to be. Well, I suppose we'll just have to hope then that you're too big for the space to maneuver at all. Yes. And you just hope. get stuck there. Yes, and. This is the chance we'll have to take. So you found yourself sort of in this dark landing. The room has opened up a little bit. It's not, you know, a giant room, but it, you know, you're not in the in the tiniest chambers. <sighs> Do you think anyone knows we're here? It seems that the only thing that's down here is death. Uh, yes, I, I'm afraid so. Uh, I continue walking forward and. If you see anything out of the ordinary, please, please, do tell. Okay. Do you want to look for anything out of the ordinary? Yeah, I want to see where the source of the, of the smell, the scent is coming from. Okay. Yes. Uh, then go ahead and, let's see here. We don't have a sense of smell roll. Mm. Um, Spots? Maybe. Uh, let's roll. Um. Yeah. Let's go ahead and roll your spot hidden smell. Oh let's yes. Let's go ahead and roll your spot hidden. Oh. Uh, 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 Seventy. That's, that's, so, that's, that's <laughs> over. That, that's, that's over. Okay. That's fine. Uh, as you walk forward, um, you are, you're so focused, sort of just looking straight ahead. You know, that just sense of you're in a dark room. You don't quite have your bearings. Your eyes aren't entirely adjusted. This is a strange place, you know. Oh, boy. You find yourself flat on your face <gasps> on the floor. There's a clang <gasps> as his lantern <laughs> scatters. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> a little man fell down. Here, come here. <laughs> I go to help him up. So I start lifting you up okay. off the ground. Now, why don't you hand me that lantern? I can, I you can, are right, James. I'm doing quite all right. This, this smell, uh, as much as I've been around these sorts of things before, I just, it's just, I never find it settling in. Quite you upsetting. look down at the ground <sighs> to see what you've tripped on, and you see a leg. <gasps> oh, oh, oh dear! That's how big is does it look like? Like an adult's oh. leg. It's, it's um, like a severed uh, leg. Oh dear! It does not have <laughs> a body <laughs> attached to it. Have a body. <laughs> yeah, it does not have a, uh, a so body up. attached to um, it. Can I? Inspect it to see how long it's been dead. I am in my my job is as a uh, as a uh, <laughs> an undertaker. An undertaker. Oh. So of course it is. This is something I would be able to recognize. I believe. Yes. Weirdo. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so you lean down to sort of investigate this leg. Uh, to the best of your knowledge, uh, so you're sort of crouched down. Mm -hmm. So the best, to the best of your knowledge, it's been here a day and a half, Ooh. two days, still enough fresh. time. Exactly, still fresh. Uh, not fresh enough to eat, mind you. Ha. Huh. <laughs> Funny. Yes, quite the comedian. I want to track and try to see, determine if like there's anything that's alive and not just dead 
down here. You take a moment and focus. Mm -hmm. um, sort of ignoring the dark, ignoring your stress about a whatever leg. might happen with <laughs> Peter Strumpf. Yep. You don't smell anything alive. Okay. But you smell so much death. <sighs> um, Peter, as you are crouched down with this leg, something sort of catches your notice out of the corner of your eye. And you just see the shine of human eyes. <gasps> Laying sort of sideways on the ground, staring vacantly up at you I at recognize the far end that of the chamber. Far too well. I go to inspect the body. You found who the leg belongs to. Oh. Um, it's a, an adult, uh, blonde man, uh, wearing a robe with the same sun symbol uh, that you found in the chapel. He is lying on top of two of his companions, also in the same robe, also mauled in similar ways, limbs missing. Interesting. Do you think this is some sort of ritual sacrifice? I mean, this easily looks like a dinner that you've had on a bad night. The markings on these bodies are familiar to me. And your other form, I presume? Possibly. I did not do this, but maybe it's not just kids they're holding in this place. Yes. Yes. Now, these bodies are piled, if you will, um, in front of an entrance. I wouldn't call it a door. I would call it more a hole in the earth. What? Whatever did this might be inside of there. Very well. I move the bodies out of the way. Okay. And crawl into that space. Be careful, Peter. Peter, take this. No. You keep it. Uh, can you see in the dark? Well enough. All right. It's me they should be worried about. Okay. Let's hope that's true. You two are staying behind? I'm going to crouch down and follow okay. after him no, I'll fo be to be and back up. Yes, I'll, I will also. Okay. Yes. So the three of you push forward. Um, Is this like a, cr a crawling sort of situation? You just kind of have to hunch down. So you're hunched down. Okay. Oh, gotcha. Um, the wood and the dirt start to give away more to rock moisture it starts to get a little colder Shit. Oh what God. the fuck cool guys well I'm done uh, <laughs> um, what the <coughs> fuck as you continue the fit <clears throat> does start to get tighter you're crouching down more. You're turning sideways to sort of fit yourself through these crevices. Should I not have messed with the Ouija board earlier, man? <laughs> dude, dude, I literally saw it like it <laughs> flew off. Oh, jeez. That was, that was weird. As you move, you do start <laughs> to realize um, you're in ankle deep water in more knee-deep water. Is there blood in the water? Or do I see blood in the water or smell blood in the water? The both of you recognize... James? Yes. Let's do this this way. James, it feels like you're sludging through this water a little bit. This isn't like walking through a river. Yeah. Or walking through a lake. The two of you this recognize that this is very soiled water. Blood. 
bits of what very well might just be upstairs now. As you continue, if you're continuing. Mm -hmm. Certainly. Absolutely. Yes. The ceiling of this tunnel slopes (gasps) down. And it doesn't look like you're going to be submerged, but right now you need to make a decision about getting into whatever this is and moving forward or going back. This, this doesn't feel quite right. This wa- we're walking terribly slow for this to be any normal any water. Or it's not water. Yes, there's something wrong. Yeah. We, we uh, presume we are thinking about going down there, correct? Unless there's some way that we can try and lure out whatever it is that's down there. James, will you um, roll a sanity check for me? (laughs) Yes, of course. With the realization that you are waist deep in something less than savory. Mm, 76. That's not good. (laughs) I must say, that's not good. (laughs) Oh, dear. Go ahead and roll. um, uh, 1d6 for me. Oh, go now. High is bad. Because <laughs> uh, that is a six. <laughs> okay. Oh, dear. James, I'm going to take control of your character away from you for just a moment. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh-oh. James, you feel yourself start to shake. Your breath is getting ragged. You put a hand into whatever this is. And you pull your hand up. <coughs> and as the murky water pull... Um, the fact that one of your test looks to be a, a thumbnail. <laughs> You start to lose control of your breath. Little man, are you okay back there? James. You start to panic. (laughs) James, get hold of yourself. Someone's going to kill us. We're going to die. It's not right. I can't. I can't. I can't do this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. James. I roll my eyes and push forward. Okay. James. James, pull yourself together. James. Look at me. James, you're going to be fine. Don't lie to him. James, listen to me. You're all right. I can't do this. I can't do this. Then leave. And let those who can do. I can't go back alone. I guess. Yes, you can, James. Uh, I would like to roll to try and uh, glamour James. Okay. Uh, Let me double check what my skill is in that. It's pretty good. Hold on. (laughs) Oh, yeah. He has to roll an opposed power roll to mine. Okay. Um, I succeeded. I'm going to have you roll. Um, <coughs> well, go ahead and roll your power. Okay. Or roll against your your, uh, yeah. your power rating. Oh, I see. I see. That's cool. That's good. 40, it's under, so I succeed. Okay. I rolled a 37, so I rolled lower under. Okay. Uh, walk us through what happens. James. Yeah. And I looked directly into his eyes. James. Yes. You're going to be all right. Listen to the sound of my voice. James. Yes, yes. You're going to walk out of here. Okay. You're going to go backwards. Yes, yes. Go back the way we came. Yes, Lord. You will go find Apollonia and tell her 
what we have found, and you will stand by. Yes, I, think I can do that. You'll be time. safe. Okay, okay. You, you be be careful. I, I got something's down there. I'll go back. I'll go back. You'll go back. Yes. You'll go directly back. Uh, I hand her my I hand her my flintlock. Okay. Be, do be safe, please. You will as well. Thank you, Lorna. You're not leaving. <laughs> You're not leaving me down here with the girl with a gun, are you? She'll be fine. She's capable. I'm aware of that, and that's what worries me. D- there's no civil bullets. You have to gun. go now, James. I have to go. You be careful. With that James turns and heads back in the direction that you came, leaving the two of you to press forward if you choose to. I've already been pushing forward. Okay. I I'm follow ready. after him. You're catching up. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> you are a lot shorter than Peter. I am. So you come about chin deep oh. in this. You can feel <sighs> the tips of your toes sort of pulling you forward against the floor of this cavern. <sighs> your hands sort of pressed against the top, which <clears throat> is just you know, slick feeling rock. And then the two of you find yourselves moving up the water starting to (sighs) come out you pull yourselves out of this um, sort of spelunking expedition that you found yourselves on and you find yourselves in a natural chamber Um, Peter you've been standing here for about a moment longer Uh, it's dark do I smell anything unusual other than death Yeah, uh, you smell something that you've smelled very recently, in fact. Something that was strange, something that you didn't recognize. You smell that very specific rot that you Uh, found from the door. From the door. It spreads, whatever was upstairs. What? So you've been here for a moment as Lorna joins you. Um, And you've been here long enough, I won't... Ask for a spot hidden. There, um, there's a station at this entrance. Um, oil, torches. Okay. Shall we? Let's do it. So, I light the torches. Give her one. Mm-hmm. Have one for myself. Okay. The light sort of glows orange for a moment and. Even though this place hasn't been set ablaze, even the the smallest amount in this pitch black seems like quite a bit. Uh, You find yourself in this, in in a cavern, in this natural chamber under the earth. It's fairly large. And just ahead of you, you see what you start to realize are three long wooden tables that lead away. We can't see where the tables go to. They're like big banquet tables. They're large. Yeah, they're okay. long. The, the, the two of you. Reach. Yeah, the right. two of you have good enough night vision mm-hmm. that you can see. You know, these are very long banquet tables. You can kind of see where they terminate, but you can't really see. Um, you know, details further than that. I mean, these are. You could probably sit. Thirty to forty people. You know along down these uh, these okay. long tables. <sighs> I hate colds. I'm not exactly a fan of them myself. Um, I want to... Uh, I want to hurl my torch in the direction of the ends of the tables. Okay. Like, to see if I can see what's further ahead without having to walk. Sure. <laughs> so you fling your torch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the light sort of very quick. I mean, this is yeah. very quickly. Mm-hmm. The tables are set. Oh. Do they catch fire? <laughs> <laughs> you see platters, 
you see what could be a body laid out across the table. Oh. Again, this is quick. Like they were feasting on a body. Ugh. Great. Good. You see the torch mm-hmm. land and sort of hit mm-hmm. a small puddle. Oh. I have a really good aim. <laughs> it sort of starts to fizzle out. And as you sort of, like, both of you sort of take your attention to sort of strain forward and see what you can see, you you hear something. I'd like both of you to roll your listen. Okay. No. Oh, not listen. spot him. No. Listen. I very stupidly built my character, as we <laughs> learned last week, when it comes to listen, <laughs> even though I'm part wolf. <laughs> <laughs> I've only got a 20 on this. Side. <laughs> I also only Not have stupidly. a 20. Um, you, you can only stand next to a cannon fire back home for so long with no ear protection before <laughs> you lose hearing in one ear. <laughs> yep, that's uh, not, no, yep, no. I also, nope. wait, I didn't even roll a percentile dice. Hold on, uh, let's try that again. Uh, I got a 44. Uh, I got a uh, 69, so that's that's yep, a fail. Yep, both okay. fail on that, listen. Yep. So you both fail. Do either of you want to re-roll or push this attempt? Well, I won't ask to push because this is something I'm making you do. Oh. Um, <laughs> I'll use one re-roll. Mm-hmm. Okay. And just count on the We just have the one, right? The dice yeah. cool. You have two. Yep. Two. Oh, with okay. two. So you will still have one okay. after this. Oh, hey, I that was almost not the exact so same <laughs> thing. So that's also a failure. Okay. Oh, d- uh, you know what? Screw it. I'll do it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Are you also at a twenty? Yes. That's oh, I rolled a five. Well done. <laughs> a success. Thank you for the reward. Well yes. done. <laughs> if we could use some more. You realize <laughs> they could. <laughs> <laughs> that was clutch. As you sort of s- step forward a little, sort of craning your ear. What is it? You realize that you're not alone in this room. We're not alone. Something Have you ever heard a predator, a cat, a big cat? It sounds feeding. Like some sort of animal. Something <sighs> feeding is eating. Damn it. And it this is a strange observation to sort of make, but it you hear it breathe. <sighs> and it sounds content. And it sounds like it's finished. So it's gonna be looking for its next snack. I think that's a fair assessment. Come on! Let's fucking do this! That would be an opportune moment. As Peter starts to speak up, (laughs) it stops. And you still have your torch? Yeah. In one hand as I'm slapping myself in the face. Slapping yourself in the face. Can we get a good look at what this is? You hear a platter fall. You hear things being scraped. Come on, come on. Off of this table. And in the darkness, you see a black figure, humanoid. Huh? You've seen some very horrible things in your life. You've seen the mistreatment of people mistaken for supernatural. And the first image that flashes into your mind is the image of a woman you saw put on trial for witchcraft who was dipped in oil. And whatever this thing is, its eyes shine like a cat's in the darkness. It's prowling down the table towards the both of you. And that's when you hear 
that it is not alone. <gasps> As further back in the room, oh, no! I take the torch. I rear it back. And I put out my arm and I burn myself with it. Okay, I'm not going to ask you to, um... <gasps> I'm not going to ask you to roll for that. <laughs> uh, I am going to... No, let's go ahead and, um... Uh, take it away. Describe to me what happens. I start to singe through the skin on my arm as I start to have these just images of burning uh, and losing control as the pain makes me kind of lose track of where I am and what's happening. And that's when I feel it take over. And I'm not really sure what happens next. Peter's bones start <sighs> to break. You hear the snapping of ligaments, the pulling and tearing Run. of muscle. Run! You don't think you can control it. Run! Even as you talk to him, Peter's starting to lose control. You don't see Peter in those eyes anymore. He's having a hard time even focusing forward. He's staring directly at you. Okay. And as this creature that was Peter roars forward, you might even call it a howl, you might. at this <laughs> thing crouched on the table in front of him the thing responds with an inhuman shriek which is echoed by its brothers behind it <sighs> going to cut to James cool great <laughs> <laughs> you guys got this yeah uh, James you've as if it's the best idea you've ever had it's really the only thing that you can think of is walking back into the chapel and finding Lady Wayworth. You find yourself walking back up the stairs, steadying yourself against the altar. And you see this. Oh, bugger. Uh, yeah, yes, Lady Wayworth. Are Wayworth. you the only one that came out? I couldn't go forward. Are you the only one that came out? They kept going, yes. It was, I, I went back. I, I don't know what happened. I don't know what's co what they're okay, saying. Or what's the last thing you remember? Having to leave. You had to leave. I, I, I had to leave. Before that. You I had, had to leave. To leave. I, I had to leave. I had to get out of there. I had to get safe. I wasn't. I was not. I was out of my element. I was not prepared. I was not prepared for what was. What, 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 Anyone what, what, could have told you that. Well, I've, I thought I was stronger than that. How are you with children? Quite good with children. Uh, I'll watch. Uh, I'll see. What was it? it was if things uh, get desperate. Yes. What would you do? What would I do? In a moment of desperation. Anything. And I point, or I indicate to little creeper. <laughs> and I go, <laughs> Anything? Oh, God. Yes. Yes. Is she kind of far away from us, or is she? Yes. She's out of your shot. Yeah. She's staring at both of you, but we can assume that. Is there something wrong with the child? Is there something wrong with the child? I wouldn't ask you to kill a child. To I time. understand, but I just. James, roll your sanity. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Is there any rerolls? There are three. Oh. I need oh. to take a reroll. Oh I yeah, rolled yeah, a 94. Yeah. When oh. I need you to be high, you <laughs> betray me. Save it for Warhammer. <laughs> From now on, we're going to play this game with a thousand D6s. <laughs> <laughs> you this time? Uh, a 73. Uh, use another one. I'm going to use another one. Oh, la, la. Can I use these? That'd be done, they mailed. Ah, Joe. And, and when we use them, make sure to hit the minus on the screen. Oops. Otherwise, Oh, yes. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Did you get a hundred now? An eighty-three. Uh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no. Should I use another one? Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Uh, <laughs> do it. 
Okay. Look at me. <laughs> Do we have we got this. I think this we is have the last one. one more. I, I, I'm burning through the... I apologize. <laughs> Do it. Oh, I believe in you. Oh, my God. 20. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That was a journey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, buds. Thank you for your, for your presence. <laughs> Tonight's been almost too much for James. This chapel, these people, what you saw Peter do. Right now you're even realizing that you've literally lost time. And now a woman who's intimidating to be around in the first place is asking you if you're confident that you can kill a child. And it takes you to a moment when you had to make a similarly impossible decision. It was... I just remember being back, fighting in the war, and I was with my one of my closest friends who were, we, we went out through the ranks together, and and he got stabbed. And this is the opium war. Yes, the opium war. I couldn't... I, I didn't have any materials to cartilize the wound or... or, or to, to any, anything to patch it up. And he was just bleeding out and bleeding out. And he, he, he begged me to... He begged me to kill him. He begged me to, to finish it. He couldn't bear the pain anymore. I, I couldn't. I, and I just... You fall out of that moment, back in the present. And you stand resolute. And what does that have anything to do with any of this? I can do this. I'm, I'm prepared to take any measures necessary. That's what I learned from then, and that's what he wanted, and I needed to fulfill that wish of his. So I, I'm here to tell you, if it comes to it, I can do it. Hopefully it won't come to that. Hopefully not. But she's staring at us right now. And there's a lot of things that just seem very strange tonight. I. You I, don't remember what you saw down there. I, I, don't, I don't. You had to leave. I, I just, I just know I had to leave. But be careful. I, I, I. Do I remember giving my flintlock? Your gun's gone. Do I remember giving it? No. I don't, I don't even know what my flintlock is. Um. I'm going to... Oh. I, sorry, I apologize. Yeah, I am yeah. going to pause because I realized I approached this insanity with you incorrectly because this was from the, the audience. So I'm going to put two re-rolls back on the board. You did two re-rolls, right? Because this is not something that you can save from. Uh, this is the oh, audience removing audience. sanity from... I you. see, I see. So I apologize. So that's when they're when the audience is removing Sandy, it's one D four plus one D six. One D six. One D six, no save. Okay. Um so we're going to use that memory. But I want you to roll one D six for me. Three. Okay. So not you pull back out of that moment. You sit on the ground, and you do something you haven't done in a long time. You start to cry. All right. Now I'm watching two people. <laughs> um, I'm going to take a look around the room. We're in a chapel, or a makeshift chapel, yes? Mm -hmm. These places normally have wine and bread, don't they? <laughs> Uh, go ahead and do, um, go ahead and uh, roll your spot hidden. Spot hidden. So what am I rolling? Am I rolling these two? Uh, spot hidden, yeah. Did you have that? Okay. There you go. Set to 63. 63. Well, I did not spot anything. Yeah, so you walk around the chapel a little bit. I mean, this place is stark. It's empty. Mm -hmm. um, it's been cleaned up pretty well. As you walk around, uh, Sarah, the small girl, does not take her eyes off of you. Just me. Just you. Even though I've left him. Just you. Right. She just continues to watch you. 
Then I go back to um, James over here and I just do an old fashioned <laughs> slap okay. across the face. <laughs> <sighs> I'll just give you that. We don't need to roll cool. that. Cool. All right. You're a sobbing mess on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Pull yourself together, James. Yes. You're yes. in the war. Yes. You've seen horrors. I have, yes. We can do this. <sighs> yes, we, we can do this. And for good measure, I slap him again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Does that help me at all? Yeah, it helps you sort of recover a little bit. You're not going to recover any kind of points or anything like that. Okay. Okay. I, just, I understand. But you, you feel confident enough that maybe he can be left here with Sarah. All right. <sighs> Thank you. Do you have anything that... Never mind. I, ha I pull out my <laughs> small club. My <laughs> Your billy club? That's all I have sure. left. I don't know what my flintlock was. That was my only s real source of defense. It's better than nothing. And I okay. head into the <laughs> creepy tunnel. <laughs> We're going to <laughs> cut back. We're ready. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. You see something yes. in front of you that... You have never seen okay. in your life. Wow. Um, you see a werewolf. Yep. That is fighting something that your brain is even having a hard time processing. Okay. So in this moment, I want you to roll a sanity check. Okay. My sanity. I will use a reroll because I rolled <laughs> okay. a 90. Okay, you have four rerolls left. Great. Um, I will use another one. Okay, How am I rolling three. so freaking high? I'm switching my percentage dice. Okay. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> I'm going to use one more. Okay, you have two. Okay. That's a 10. Yes, so, so 13. Th so I succeeded. <laughs> okay, you succeeded. Uh, remove uh, one sanity point. Okay. Because uh, no one escapes these things completely yep. unscathed, but that's not enough to, uh, to drive you quite over the edge. Right. Uh, Peter, do you have your, uh, your wolf stats in front of you? Yes. What is your dexterity? <laughs> My dexterity is 65. Okay, interesting. Um, what happens right now? What uh, are you trying to do? I'm trying to rip these things to shreds. Okay. But I have a hard time controlling exactly what I'm doing other than just rage. And okay. I see a threat to myself, and I'm reacting to that. You recognize that the larger threat in the room right now is definitely this thing in front Correct. of you and not what used to be your companion. Exactly. Um, so you... I'm going oh. to attack the okay. one in the front. You're going to leap forward at this thing? Claws out, trying okay. to do as much damage as quickly as I can. Okay. Uh, roll, please, your uh, fighting. Your brawl. Let's see. Which works a little different with the werewolf. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it says I have attacks per round two. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. um, um, yes, that's a 75. So. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that's a four. Ooh. Just four. Okay. This creature, from your point, your point of right. view, that used to be Peter, mm -hmm. dives forward. All fours on this table for just a moment, as it leaps forward at this creature, which is also sort of lashing out in search of its new meal, a welcome new meal. It moves a little slower. Its limbs are a little shorter. Peter's claws reach it first, as the creature. With its hands, it sort of has these elongated fingers and claws slash past Peter, just missing him. Peter's claws land true. Yes. 
into the creature's throat, <coughs> doing what kind of damage <coughs> do they do? Uh, where's the roll for damage? <coughs> I get an additional damage bonus of plus one d4. Where's okay. the other damage? Is that how do we? This is the first time we've rolled for damage. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. is. Yeah. Damage. And you should have an average damage too. Is there? I see a dodge. Where's our damage? Damage. Your damage bonus is right here. Oh, weird. Okay. So what do we roll then? Just go ahead and roll your. Um, go ahead and roll one d6 for me. Be like a D6 plus a D4. Mm -hmm. Eight. Damn. Oh yeah, your unarmed should say what it is, because like my unarmed oh, says it, damage. Damage bonus. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, eight. Okay. <laughs> you slash at the creature, but whereas Usually slashing a, an animal or something like that, you would hit flesh and sort of drag. <coughs> the, the werewolf's hand almost goes... It, oh. I mean, it punches through yes. this creature easily. Oh, I definitely oh. ripped Just the throat like out with damp it I come back tissue. <coughs> oh. Okay. You pull back out of its throat. What could be collarbones crack <laughs> out. Liquid starts to gush out of the creature. It loses su support. To Ooh. carry its own head. The I'll head collapses down this way. It collapses onto the table. There's a moment where the predator that you are has paused. It's lashed out. It takes a moment to assess. And as the creature lies there, two more <gasps> between the tables. Okay move forward. Hunched forward, standing. And as they come into the light, the one in the middle cranes its head uh. back up. Can I use my second attack? Absolutely. As its head starts to crane back up, I'd like to take my giant kind of foot and just crush its entire skull. Yes. Curb stop, Very good. Curb stop, curb stop. That's six damage. Okay. I just like to just. So that's six damage? Yeah. Okay. The creature screams defiantly. <coughs> and then its head, whatever this thing is, smashes. Mm -hmm. The body quivers and then is still. What we're describing as oil <sighs> splashes onto you, <coughs> splashes up your leg. I stand my ground and just growl at the other two. Okay. How far away is the one that's behind me? It's about, the other two are about 20 feet away. Oh, but I thought there was one that was behind me. It was me. behind it's her. Oh. The Sorry, yeah, they, they were behind. It. Behind the one the, that he their was lead. at. Yes. Okay, great. They're about 20 feet away. 20 feet. They were sort of proceeding cautiously. Okay. But now that this has happened... You know, they're obviously a lot more aggressive. Okay. Uh, they're growling. All right. Uh, I want to draw my own flintlock pistol as well as the one that Matt gave me, Ooh. and I'm going to shoot both of them, and I'm going to aim both of my shots at one of them. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask you to use firearms handgun. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you to roll it twice because we're dual wielding. Because we're dual wielding. And yeah. we're going to take the worst roll. Okay. Uh, that's a 46, which is just over my 45. <laughs> and that's a 75. So do you want to use two rerolls on this? Yeah, I do. I do. Goddamn. That's a 10. Okay. And that's a 25. Okay. Yes. So both of those, uh, both of those go. Yes. Um, totally worth it. Absolutely worth it. Uh, so you open fire at these mm -hmm. things. One, well, uh, what damage does the does your pistol do? The pistol does um, 1d6 plus 1. Okay. And it has a 10-yard range, so we're totally in range. Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and let you roll that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's a 3, so that's a 4. Okay. And that is a 2, so that's a 3. Okay. Seven. 
Seven. So you strike both of them. Mm -hmm. One sort of in the shoulder area. It Mm -hmm. staggers backwards. One in the gut. It pulls forward. Both of them, just like the first, take Mm -hmm. a moment. The one Mm -hmm. shot in the shoulder goes... Great. Snarls. Okay. Starts moving directly for you. I'm going to talk. Oh, go ahead. Yes. Do those gunshots distract me in any way? Like, if they're going right by me and the gunshots are coming from behind me. Go ahead and roll your sanity. (gasps) 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 I just want to let you know, Mm -hmm. I don't have very high sanity. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) How many? Wait, wait, before you roll. How many rerolls do we have? We have three. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow, really? Oh, three. Did you I'm sorry, we have two. I apologize. Two. She used two last yeah, turn. Yeah, so we yes. have two left. We have two left. Okay. okay. <clears throat> oh, my God. Just want to let you know. I'm ready. That, That's 44. That uh, I rolled fine. Yes. Yeah. Just fine. Okay. Yes. Um, you are startled, <laughs> and there is a moment where you just, this wolf creature spins around, and its eyes sort of... Mm-hmm dilate down at you. Mm -hmm. It growls. Okay. I'm gonna uh, toss both of those pistols, and I'm going to pull the sword out of what appears to be a cane and stand my ground. Okay. And then I'll say I hear the creatures behind me again and turn back towards them. Great. The one that was sort of doubled down also picks, uh, lifts back up and just screams, which is what um, I scream right back. Okay. Um... So you've shot. Uh, yep. You know what? I think it's Ghoul's turn. Okay. That's what I figured. The creature that screamed starts to lope mm-hmm. forward um, towards the wolf. Sort of staggering. It's There's something inside of it. it it's angry. It's not moving well. It's jerking. It opens its jaws, and there are just rows of spines. You can see them clearly now. Its jaw sort of unhinges lower, and there's just... You wouldn't call them teeth, necessarily. Just just this mess of wrong inside this creature, a tongue sort Mm -hmm. of lolling out its side, and it dives... um, to take a bite what do I need out to roll? of you. What do I need to roll? You should get I to need dodge. you to roll. Yes, I need you to roll Ooh. your dodge. I don't think I get a bonus for dodge as a werewolf. I get uh, oh, really just a, okay. Uh, yeah, yep, 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 <laughs> yeah, yep, 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 yep. You got this. I got no bonus for dodge. Uh, okay. Nope, just dexterity and power and all that kind of stuff. So about to get. I'm going to get messed up. I'm going to get messed oh. up. We have two rerolls left still. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that stat right there. What? I know. My oh, you're your terrible. Dodge? It's only a 10. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. So I'm going to take a hit. I mean, he's a bit a of a tank. Yeah. yeah, but you're tanky. I was close. That it was, was a 22. 22. You want to reroll it? No. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, I'll take the hit. Yeah. I do get extra HP as a werewolf. So. Yeah. The creature sort of sprints forward. It lopes down and grabs on to <gasps> the wolf's thigh and just bites uh. in as just this burning sensation of th- of hundreds of needles uh. at once just it's dig into this creature's flesh. <laughs> uh, you are now. going to take. Well, for everything I just said, um, <laughs> take one point of damage. <laughs> See, I got like, it. However, the creature the, the, the creature is latched in. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. It's That's what just I want. it's hanging on. This wasn't okay. Yeah. The second mm-hmm. is watching that happen. Okay. And just sprints for you. It's fast. It's okay. The others were sort of casual. Sure. This thing blitzes towards you and takes you okay. by surprise. Um, and it just dives for you, and I'd like you to roll your dodge. I would like to th- roll my dodge. 23, I succeeded. Okay. Ooh. 
Okay, it did not. Um, yes. For as fast as this creature is, and it is startlingly quick, even as this weird liquid is dripping off of it and leaving a trail, it leaps for you and snaps out, and in that one quick moment of snap, you step out of its way just enough, leaving yourself open for a counterattack. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm okay. going to uh, drive my sword forward with the intent of hitting it like in the, if it has a sternum-ish area, yes. that's the goal. Okay. Great. So go ahead and... and um, 30, I succeeded. Okay, great. <laughs> 30, I succeeded. <laughs> or did you? Get ready for this. Okay, so... I'm going to say this. Also rolled a 30. Uh, but in the case of a tie, the aggressor wins. Yes! So... All right. There you go. Roll damage for okay, the sword. Okay, so the sword the is 1d6 plus damage bonus. So that is a one. I would like to use a reroll. Okay. You guys have one That's reroll left. That's a five. Left. Okay. My damage bonus is also six. That's another five. So that's 10. And then I also get an additional damage bonus of 1d4. Really? Yep. How does it? Bro, aren't you supposed to be like a werewolf? And so that's a three. <laughs> so that's thirteen. So that's gonna be thirteen. Okay. <clears throat> There's a flash. The Do sword arcs up. <laughs> and the top half of this creature falls away. Yes. Um Can bones sort of cut straight broken through. and wrecked and pulling up each way. It falls to the ground. Staring up at you, reaches up to grab, falls limp. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, can I take care of this problem on my leg? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I <laughs> would like to take one of my claws and basically push its head deeper <laughs> into my leg to kind of hold it there. Okay. And then I'm going to dig my claw into its back spine and rip its yes! spine like out. Predator from its style. Skull. Okay. Uh, still, still. Roll your strength <laughs> for me, please. Oh, your I strength. Can, I can do that. sort of an, an act cool. of might. Right. So I'm going to need a lot of d6. Um, I roll 66, and then I times it by five. Oh what? dang! There's two. Okay, one more. <laughs> oh, that 10, was really good! 15. Holy moly! <laughs> uh, 19, 25. Thirty-one times five. Uh, times uh, five. That is gonna be a hundred and fifty-five. So, so that's how that. much my strength is now. Whoa! Uh, it's one hundred fifty-five, and I just have to roll lower than that. So okay, uh, okay. I'm gonna do that right now. Take this one back. <laughs> I think I'm gonna succeed. I think you'll be all right. Yeah. You don't get it. That's well, a sixty-two. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's a success. So describe how this works. Exactly mm -hmm. how I said. And just rip its spine right out of its skull and all over the wall. You pull. And then I crush its head on my leg. You whip this spine out of this creature and there's just splash across the both of you. Uh, <laughs> it screams. It dies painfully. And for the moment, there's just the silence of both of you breathing. Oh, shit. And you, Lady Wayworth. Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she arrives to this. <laughs> yep. Walk in and see. I've got a club. A c with your really <laughs> club. <laughs> A scene in front of you uh, that you maybe were not expecting. No. Three uh, unmoving humanoid things. Uh, this small and frail woman uh, holding a sword. And? And the werewolf creature breathing down at both of you. All right, well done. Um... Top of the list, that. Right then. How is he doing? Uh, <clears throat> the wolf howls. Yeah. I'm going to hop in the driver's seat here if you don't mind, Peter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go for it. The wolf howls. 
It's angry. Oh, here's a tip, guys. Yeah. Other characters can attempt to soothe the transformation away using their charisma. Oh, yeah. Great. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> if I was to teach you my totem, you would actually get a bonus, but I haven't told anyone. But just, uh. oops. <laughs> <laughs> There's a moment. I also want to whisper, it's a good thing that people can't turn you into a werewolf <laughs> at any time, <laughs> and we don't know this information. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> the creature's growling, and there's a moment where, yeah, I mean, it's the two of you staring at this beast. All right. Then I am going to try to glamour the werewolf with my abilities. Interesting. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll for that. How do I do that? <laughs> you have to also roll power. Yeah. Back. Um, My power? Mm -hmm. Emma, can you help walk her through that? Yeah, yeah. so you roll. I know you it's just an, did it's that. an opposed power roll. So, so basically, whichever one of you rolls lower. So, so what are we rolling? Here you go. To, uh, a percentile dice and a d10. Uh, but uh, what are we rolling? Power? Uh, Your power. Oh, power. Yes. power. So where's the... Oh, up yeah, here? Yeah, so, so it's basically like that. whoever has the better okay. difference. So this, because... So what does this mean then? Well... Because it's different than I this. succeeded my power by three. Okay. I don't know where this is from. So I this think what does it say? Um, so uh, power it says sixty five. Under that it says two d six plus six times five. Yeah. Oh, is that for one of your abilities? That's yes. like a special ability. Yeah. There. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now technically, and I apologize. Uh, we should have just rolled those, and those are your stats. Oh, that's what I did. Okay. Yeah, I rolled. Uh, I rolled stats for myself. But that. Yeah. But in this case, ability. let's right. go ahead and just roll that uh, little equation. Yeah. Oh, uh, your stat right now. Okay. Your power stat. So it'd be the one the six the d sixes. You're mm -hmm. gonna you're, that you're gonna create a new power stat yeah. from that. So two d six. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. So two d six. So roll yeah, this. Yeah. So roll two d six and times yep. that by five. Okay. Plus six times five. Okay. So that yes. is. Oof, okay. Uh, plus math six. one two three four five six seven nine plus, plus six, six times five nine being my calculator. Nine plus six. Fifteen. Fifteen. Fifteen times five. Fifteen times five. Okay. Seven. Fifteen so times five. Sixty-five. Seventy-five. Seventy-five. Okay. Yeah. That's what I feel the most. Mad. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I feel the most. So mad. Now okay. you'll roll your your d10. Okay. And your tenth. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. The and difference. It has to roll under seventy-five. Got it. And how far you roll under it. And seventy-five is your permanent stat. Yeah. That's your that. stat forever. Oh. Okay. For well, that then strength. Okay. Mm. See, so yeah, I thought so. Right. That was just to get your stat. That was. Yeah, okay. So never mind. Okay. Yeah. So that is not my stat. But I still... Is this a six or a... No, so it's going to be 16. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my permanent werewolf stat is 155. <laughs> yeah, so damn, bro. So it's 10 plus whatever this is. So 16. That's 16. Dope. That makes yeah. sense. I didn't real yeah. well. I was only okay. th yeah. three success, so she... What'd you roll yeah. further? Uh, I rolled 16. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> um, Play this out. I'm holding the club in front of me, and I'm walking straight towards him. I see the club, and my eyes go red. I see that. And I hold it behind my back. Are you saying anything? Peter? Look at me. Breathe. In. Two. Three. Four. Out. Two. Three. <laughs> four. You are two parts. I kind of like hit the ground on one knee as I have to like put a hand down into the dirt, kind of brace myself. You are one man, two parts. You know which part is really you. Peter, you find that yourself that returning? I put kind of a hand up for you to stay away. I've got it. Back away. He sounds normal. Mm hmm. Then I back away. I'm going to need some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> right then. The three of you find yourselves in this large chamber. We did it. Well done, Peter. All right. Well. Me. Do I remember correctly that you have a sword? Yes, I perhaps wasn't entirely honest about who I am. Nor do I wonder. Were you? Who are you? Are any of us. Apollonia Wayworth. Is that your real name? Of course it is. 
daughter of Charles Wayworth. Char uh, I'm a werewolf. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's very apparent. Just, okay. Everything I've said about myself is true. And we're, we're okay with this? Is everyone okay? You've just omitted some details. <laughs> I don't suppose we give each other our life stories. I can't. Immediately after meeting each other. Like... The three of you, even while interacting with each other, recognize that you don't really hear anything else. The three of you are alone. Okay. So I guess we're all okay with I can't be that interesting. What just happened here? We were attacked. <laughs> by what? Clearly, by what? I'm not certain. In all my years of... Beasties. Facing the supernatural, I've never encountered anything quite like it. In all your years. Yes. I uh, would like is that? to I have a pretty good understanding of the human anatomy, mm -hmm. and I'd like to inspect one of these. Okay. Which one? Um, the one she stabbed is probably the most intact, so. Yeah, it was just a pretty in clean two pieces. cut. <laughs> yeah, yeah, clean cut there. Yeah, Not you crushed. Pulp the other ones. The best way I can describe this creature is if you combined the parts of multiple dead lepers mm. <laughs> dipped them in oil <laughs> there's and then lit them replications in here there's multiple nothing is correct on the inside as you examine there are organs that don't need to be there there are this is uh, no lungs Unholy. In this creature, it's wrong. Every bit of it is wrong. But we're all okay with me being a werewolf, right? Yes. You have no idea what I've seen. I've had my. I've fit. just. I've just never. I've. Now that the mystery's over, I guess it's not this. a big deal. Well, I've had my fair share of encounters <laughs> with werewolves over the years. To be quite frank. I told you what my family's profession was. I mean, I should be relieved, but I'm just kind of disappointed. A little <laughs> Sorry, if you were hoping for shock, I'm afraid you're in the wrong company. I shouldn't. I mean, I always wanted to be accepted, but now that I have it, it's uh, <laughs> underwhelming. <laughs> now Join you the have club. And now you need. So we're, we're more interested in the mystery behind who she is. And the fact that my bones rip apart and my clothes rip off my body. I'm interested I... in who she is because of what she just did to you. Fair enough. <laughs> is that the... Apollonia? Uh, yeah. We should go upstairs. <laughs> Roll your spot hidden. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so percentile? Yeah, okay, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, these two? Mm -hmm. It's great. Great, yeah. Eight. eight. Ooh, eight. Perfect. Oh, nice. Okay. I see everything. Thank goodness, since <laughs> my players just defeated their dungeon boss. And <laughs> don't want to look around the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> I'm still but not wearing any clothes. Perhaps with those clothes, we we would take uh, them. I find a whole new outfit, <laughs> <laughs> amongst other things. Is there a table? <laughs> <laughs> you see. So you recognize first of all, you see these three long. Mm banquet tables. Mm -hmm. And I can uh, see in the dark, yes. It's your, your my vision's alright. Yeah, your vision is pretty good. Yep. The one torch you guys have left mm -hmm. is kind of dwindling. But s there's a glint just beyond the center table at the other end of the chamber. Mm -hmm. They just catch it. There's just something about it that you can't quite look away from it. Just a glint. I walk towards Something it. Something has qu caught that bit of firelight All right. from the torch that is from the torch station. I walk towards it. She's just a woman. You know that, right? She's not just a woman. A mere woman couldn't affect you in the way that she did. I beg to differ. As I you walk forward, Lady Wayworth, you I've walk got the club <laughs> just kind of <laughs> in front of me like that. You walk between two of these long tables. You see bodies. You're Human stepping bodies. over several 
Ugh. human bodies right. uh, cloaked. You may or may not have noticed the bodies on the way down. These wear the same. As you're stepping over the bodies, which are becoming denser, there are some smaller ones. And you sort of arrive, you make out sort of with your night vision at the head of these three tables, there is what seems to be a natural outcropping of rock. Uh, there are items on top of it, cups, a chalice. It seems like maybe they've been using this as some sort of altar. And that is where the glint that you saw is on top of this altar. Like one of the chalices. Yeah, just the walk around in the dark over there. It's uh, do you want to grab whatever this is? Do you want to take it? What would you like yes, to do? Yes, I will. First, I'm going to poke it <laughs> with the club. It sort of booby traps. It sort of rolls and clangs. Okay. It knocks a chalice over, and then it's just a regular. It's not like it didn't like unleash a booby trap or anything. No. Okay. Then I'll. I've got gloves on. I'll pick it up. Okay. You find. It's. It's a black metal rod. It's metallic. Hmm. It's maybe about this long. It seems solid, but it's very lightweight. Hmm. As you reach, your knuckles also brush against what feels like leather binding. As you lift the rod, there's sort of, you know, a moment where you take the rod, you notice. There's something else there. There's something else. Then I reach for that, too. Okay. You pick up what, in this darkness, you can sort of make out is just a book. Just a small black book. Flip through it. Anything? Not that you can see in this light. All right. Then... I'll head back to the others. I'm going to pick up both of those guns that I threw. <laughs> okay. Um, you take uh, a little bit of time and mm -hmm. find those guns. I'm going to rip off a piece of the tablecloth. <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to find a cloak so off there the body. Are, you've got, as you guys sort of look around, you you have options. <laughs> there are... <laughs> 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 I will, take, I will take one of the evil cult cloaks with the <laughs> okay. sun symbol on it that might come in useful later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. smart. As you pull the oh, cloak no. off of <gasps> the body, oh, no. it's fine. the it's body sort of body. rolls over onto its side. Okay. And you see the body of a small boy. <gasps> well, oh. I'm not going to fit in this. <laughs> I go to a different body, <laughs> and one that's about the size of my body <laughs> for the cloak. Well, I mean, you have the cloak off the... He was just on top of this other... Um, oh, he was yeah. sitting on top. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 no. Okay. Oh. Um, what I'm trying to say is that this room is full of dead children and adults. Oh. Oh. Uh, I think we may the have found the boys. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> the dead body. Uh, can, can I... Look at the, examine the dead body and see if there's a, a cause of death that is discernible. There was a man on top of it. <laughs> I mean, the cause of death is clearly these things you okay, put down. Okay, great. That was, that was my question. Mm -hmm. As I'm walking back, I'm going to look to see if there's a little blonde girl in the pile. It's, again, incredibly dark in here you're sort of finding shapes and people it's hard to make out details as the torchlight of this torch that you found at the entrance sort yeah. of entrance where all the other torches are is sort of fading out yes does this person you're looking for does she share your scent not enough if only there were more torches there are aren't there <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go light another torch. I'm comfortable in the dark. <laughs> she had a stuffed rabbit. It's not here. Is she your kin? No. 
So you light a torch. Yes. Uh, this sort of fresh one uh, adds a little more light to the room. And as um, I'm assuming maybe as a group you're sort of looking around. I don't want to put actions into... Well, either we stay here and keep trying to find something, or we take these things back to Lord Hayes. What I'm curious about is if this group, this cult, meant to offer these boys up to these creatures, something must have gone terribly wrong because their bodies are littered out that throughout is true. this room as well. Mm-hmm. So we better not stay here then. Either something went terribly wrong or something else is a part of an even bigger mystery. Yes, or this was part of the intention. Speaking of mysteries, I hold out the rod. Does anything to anyone? Just a No. Pole or it's light. Just toss it up and catch it. Mm-hmm. Nose. It, it looks black. We are very observant. Don't I observe. I very disgustingly look around the room to make sure there's no like S and M type stuff. <laughs> no, no S and M type stuff. Okay, it's probably just okay. a pole. <laughs> well, I'm sure it's something. Was there anything in in that window or in that drawing that the children did, the chalk drawing? Anything with a with some sort of pole or rod. All I seem to be able to recall is the sunlight. You're holding a torch, yes? Yes. I open up the book to see if there's anything in here. Okay. So you, uh, you're you getting a better look at this book. It is um, it's a small black leather book. It's, it's old. Um, not ancient, but an Pretty older, old. worn, well-worn book uh, that you know a, a grandfather might give a grandson. All right. Uh, sort of an heirloom of mm-hmm. sorts. Uh, it's wrapped in gray cloth. You pull the gray cloth away and you open the book. And you're looking at page after page of numbers, symbols. <laughs> <laughs> equations. Um, there are sketches of spheres. Can't make heads or tails of this. Until you come to the end. As you've sort of been flipping through this, you know, quicker and quicker. There's no reason to dally if you don't understand what's on the pages. And there, on the end, written in plain English, is the following. I passed gardens of dead and marked with one eye how mother and family were sharing a pie. Their firstborn took gravy, blood, and sinew. Baby chewed teeth. Baby made do. That's a little cryptic. And I show them Kay. all of this. Well, it sounds to me like some sort of unholy offspring. Feasting upon its own family, perhaps. Not literary, these types. Peter? <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's a moment where she's reciting this verse to you. You're, you haven't found, you know, a, a child who you think might be my brother. A, a brother. Yes. And yet, you're in this room of dead children. There's that feeling of fear as you looked through the bodies that you might find him. There's that fear of guilt that you didn't. Don't even know and it what he really looks like. Sort of... You're mumbling to yourself again, Peter. Inspires in you a memory of another time where you felt that kind of survivor's guilt. It was after my mother died. Pneumonia. She went through so much to bring me to America. Sacrificed so much 
to get away from that monster of a father. It should have been me. But she took everything she had and gave it to me, starving herself, whittling herself away to keep me alive, hiding me, keeping me away from the public eye, and it took a toll on her. I had to watch her die. Please roll 1d6. Two. Okay. There's a moment where you just react, and this is not, this ha doesn't have anything to do with the other part of you. This is a rare moment of just Peter and his memories and his feelings, and there is a moment where you have to stop to take your breath and you put your hand to your mouth to stifle a bit of a of a yell, of a shout. And then I turn my body around to one of these tables and just flip it over. <laughs> okay. Ugh! It's pointless! Things clatter. There, it's a huge sound, just things smacking and crashing into the ground, rolling. It They're echoes. all dead! Peter! Well, now we'd better get a move on, because if there's anything else it, within kilometers of here, they'll know. Right, like those gunshots wouldn't have done it. Fair point. I just start heading back up. That's what I do. Okay. Do you follow? Yes. On my way out. I take my dim torch. I spread the oil around the room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <I> drop it. <laughs> <laughs> the room lights up behind you as you step back into the cavern. We're going to cut to a few moments later. And, Zach, we end at 9.30, correct? Yes. Okay. For a second, I panicked and thought it was nine. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> James, you're, you've been with this child now for what seems like a long time. She hasn't yeah. spoken. She hasn't really moved. She's, she's sitting on a pew. Uh, and eventually you hear sound coming from the trap door. Something uh -huh. coming. Um, in that silence, I try to make small talk with her. <laughs> yes. I hate silence. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what do you say? Yeah. You, you're a very brave little girl, you know that? You, do, you, do you like stories? Have you, do you? Oh, well, I have a story. Oh, you don't like stories? <laughs> She uh, shakes her head again. No. Uh, oh yes, of course. Uh, then I won't. I won't share that. <laughs> <laughs> have you heard the t Have you heard the song of the fisherman and the whale? She shakes her head again. Not like a, you better shut up, but like just kind of a. Mm, I don't know that one. A tale, a tale, a tale, a tale of man. A whale of a tale or two. <laughs> oh, oh, the flapping fish and the girls I love. <laughs> Nights like this with the moon above. Do you like that song? <laughs> <laughs> she, she doesn't <laughs> say like yeah, but you know she just kind of. She doesn't hate it. She's a little yeah. more, maybe a little more relaxed. And as you are singing this song, um, three people. Step back out of that trap <laughs> door. He, as he's singing? As I they're <laughs> singing. <laughs> I swear You look to the trap door. <sighs> oh. As you're singing, you sort of glance out of the corner of your eye. You see three figures that are just covered oh. in black goo, blood. Oh my. God. I'm so glad to see you all okay. Including me? Okay. I didn't fight. <laughs> what did, what but did you walked through the murky water. Yeah, my clothes, but not like mm. my yeah. face. Yeah. <laughs> I'm totally covered in entrails. James? Yes? Check your sanity for me. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I just sang a song. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
How many rerolls? Any re rerolls? We have two. Using mm. one. Yes. Using. Okay. Using the other one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is this is I don't this is it. No I more rerolls <laughs> after this. Oh no. <laughs> yes, tw I pass. Like twenty-eight. <laughs> okay. <gasps> it takes me a couple of tries. <laughs> <laughs> but so you get there. You're going to lose one sanity point. But Excellent. So you recognize that these are your companions and not that are just covered in <laughs> God knows what. And sorry about the cloak. It was. Oh, oh, my. oh my! It seems uh, it's good to see that you return triumphant. Either. But what did you encounter? Here, down James, there? take this back. You might need it. Was that was that mine? Yes. Th 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 thank you. I kneel thank down you. beside welcome. the little girl. Mm -hmm. You'll notice the girl has not really. Reacted. She's taking all this what? like a veteran that's what? seen war. What was your name again? Sarah. Sarah. She nods. Sarah. Have you seen creatures before? All black, howling like mad. Oh. Black eyes, deformed bodies. Have you seen these creatures before, Sarah? I've only seen the mirror. The mirror. The mirror. And where is this mirror? She shakes her head. You don't know. Okay. a little. Sarah, it's okay. We are here. We are here to to help you. We we won't make you look at it if you don't want it. But may you let us look at it. Is that how they get here? The things they come through the mirror. She just kind of looks at you. That doesn't really process that question. It doesn't make any sense to her. Can okay. you show us where this mirror is, Sarah? She takes a moment, and she really does try to think about this. She kind of squinches up her face a little. And just says, we would have to get on the carriage. It's not here. Carriage. You know of. When does the carriage arrive, Sarah? It left before the screaming started. And when will it come back? I don't think it's coming back. Well, this all seems very recent as well. Seeing that Sarah is here and those bodies were pretty flesh, it's, it's very... Do you know where the carriage goes? If we took you in our carriage, could you point us in the right direction? They covered our eyes. Of course. Do you... Uh, yes. Go on, go on. Do you perhaps... I, I hate to ask this of you, but could you... This is going to be an offensive question. Oh, I, it might be. I just don't know. I, I'm honestly just... I would. Uh, could you perhaps sense... Take How dare you? No, I can't do that. Do you take no, I can't take do that. The sense it's of something. I, I can try to smell something in a proximity, but I can't. Lady, wait with what you roll. You're hearing. Something. You're listening. Okay. I see. Track something over long distances, unless uh, I'm in my feral form, and none of us are safe if I do that. Yes. Fifty-four. Okay. Uh, fifty-four. Yes. I pass. Someone's coming. Yeah. <gasps> do you hear yes, that? You just hear what steps what hurrying down the hall. Everyone, shh. I need to get I out. Put of my here. hand on my <laughs> Sarah. Sorry, it I just sounds like one person. One figure. It doesn't sound like many. Solitary. All Only right. Let's do this. <laughs> uh, it may not be necessary. Sarah, get behind me. Get behind me. I get my flintlock ready again. Lady Wave, they're coming closer. Are they? Can I sense they've where in the house they're at? They've passed the first door. Remember, right. this is six right. doors yeah, that all lead right, in. Right. They've okay. passed the first door. It's coming closer. They've passed the second. I would like to run to, like, be against the doorway, like out of sight. So if they open the door, they wouldn't see me. Which door? The the one that enters the chapel. Okay. That we went there through. There are six, but the one you went through. Yeah, the one we went through was the third, I believe. Okay, I'll, okay. Pr I'll is position. That is that door still open? Sort of a jar. Okay, I'll position myself Sarah, there. Sarah, get under the bench. I have her. I asked Sarah to get under, like the the benches. I follow suit. I place myself. By the door that the figure has already passed. You're stand in the middle of the aisle and wait for the door. Uh, Just as the two of you move you are in even still in the process of, oh, okay. of of sort of shepherding this girl behind you when a figure steps in you see a pistol 
not pointed, but out. Drawn. Drawn. A man has stepped into the room. Freeze! Don't, don't move. Jesus Christ! It's Bill Regal. Oh. Carriage driver. <sighs> I forgot about oh, him. Oh, you, I'm sorry, Bill. I didn't. You'd... You'd been gone. I came to see... Bill, if you do that what again, I will literally bite your face <laughs> off. <laughs> what the fuck happened here? What the fuck? Bill, what the fuck? Bill, Keep your voice you down. What no. in the fuck? Bill. Bill, we're going to need another ride. I do mean, you, do you know the routes of carriages that come in and out of this area? Carriage? I, I know the route that I'm paid. I, I was paid to bring you here and take you back to Hayes. I'm taking you back to Stanton Manor. You we will not. Work. We have other business to attend to. You can provide that, right? She's I, got a sword. Can Bill? I glamour Bill? I mean, I don't see why not. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You're coming back, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just freaked out about that. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. All right, so I'm going to roll the one of the... That's excellent. Six. Six. Oof. You're great at this. You're a great baller. <laughs> excellent. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. Uh. What, what What do you want to have happen right now? Bill. Got me. Bill Regal, with his sweet red face, mm -hmm. stares into your eyes. Look at me, love. And. You want to go back to Lord Wich Richard. He trusts us. He. So he w you. Where does he want to go? You want to go back to back to Stanton Manor? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You want to go back to Lord Richard? He trusts us. I want. Take. Touch the side of his face, and so do you. I trust you. Good man. Uh, I trust you. I'll take you to. S I'll. T I'll take all of you no, to no, Stanton no. House. You I'll pay attention. That's what happened to you. You go back to Lord Richard. It's we have other really business weird. here. I'll go back. It does come in handy, though. Good man. I'll go back to Lord Hayes. Will I take the gentleman with me that just arrived? Gentleman. Uh, I'm sorry. Is that what you came in here, was to tell us that someone had arrived? I came back to tell you someone had arrived and to return Who? you to Stanton House. Who's just arrived? A gentleman. Mr. Penn brought him, and then Mr. Penn left. Would you like me to go back to Stanton House with him? <clears throat> Not before introducing us first. I'll introduce you first. Are you a werewoman? <laughs> <laughs> You'd be able to tell, For wouldn't you? being someone I, I, I'm who's sorry, werewolf, I guess it's a non-gender specific term. I Sorry. Official terms no. aside, no. We let we can pause. You know exactly what just happened. Of course, I know exactly what just happened. This is a very compliant young man. Well, <laughs> it's convenient <laughs> when. <laughs> You're so out of your element. <laughs> it's convenient <laughs> when one of your species' natural talents is to be able to manipulate people. I don't have that ability. What are you talking about? You don't have that ability. Of no. course not. You're a werewolf. It's not one of right. your abilities. There's a lot more to the supernatural world than just lycanthropes. As you witnessed firsthand. Oh, of you course. For mm. someone no, who... No, no, I think, I think I understand what you're getting at. We well, shall. if she's going to keep that up, she's going to have to feed or she's going to be very tired. <clears throat> um, who, who? You saw me in Stanton Manor. We ate Cornish hens. 
I'm perfectly That's fine. That's not exactly what I'm talking about. And I think you know what I actually mean. I don't think you know what I am. Are you a cannibal? My lady, shall I return to Stanton House? Introduce with, with the gentleman. Oh. Bring, bring in the gentleman while we figure out what <laughs> this woman is. Very well. I'm quite intrigued now. I understand why it wasn't that impressive. So as this that is I'm happening, <laughs> as this is happening, poor Bill Regal <laughs> walks out of the house. <laughs> go, go right ahead. Are you? Can I? Can we sidebar for a second? <laughs> Yes, what is it? May I join this sidebar? <laughs> okay, Are you good. sure you want to... I, I, if we're going to be joining a party, I need to know everything about all of you. Great, come on. Okay, <laughs> excellent. Right. Are you implying that... Wait, if she is, can she hear us whispering right now? Probably, yes. I can, yes. She can hear we're us. We're going to sidebar in the hallway. <laughs> 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 we walk further away. <laughs> <clears throat> Stay right. Watch I, Sarah. I, I, I don't. I, I, I've on. known Lady Wayworth for quite some time now. I don't. Have you ever known her to hang upside down inside of coffins? And oh, things? that's just a myth. How long I, have you known her? Oh, I guess ever since I started working the precinct, so a few years, but nothing more than acquaintances. Does she drink the blood of little woodland creatures? I'm sorry. Are they in the hallway? Yeah, you're in the hallway. <laughs> yeah, okay. In the hallway. I, 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 I don't. She, she just runs. She is a vampire. <laughs> a vampire. Oh, well, well, she at least possesses the abilities of one, or at least one of them. I should know. That's disgusting. So there's just this. There's three people that have literally. <laughs> 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 we don't so have all night. So it's just you in the room with Sarah. <laughs> yep. Okay. And I'm keeping my distance from her because chat made me afraid of little kids. So. Yep. So I'm just, there's we're, a healthy distance. we're just hashing something out out here about you. <laughs> so wait, uh, wait, I'm sorry. Have you, you you three have left the chapel? Yeah, well, yeah we're, we're in the, in the hallway. hallway. You're in the hallway. Yes. yes. Interesting. Oh, well, she's a vampire. She could probably hear us. No, we walked into the hallway, so she. Could the hear. hearing's not. That I good. can. Son of a bitch. This is fast. I've never <laughs> met a lady <laughs> wayward. I had no idea. I had no idea. This is quite. The only thing that confuses if me. If you can hear this, you disgust me. The only thing that intrigues me is that before the sunset, she hardly seemed different at all. Though, of course, I didn't interact with her all that much. At this point, I'm just kind of peeking out the doorway, <laughs> watching them <laughs> speculate <laughs> about me. So if you're not a vampire, then what are you? I am a vampire. Hence, my... So oh. I had to steal the werewolf's thunder. Yes. Oh, oh, my. I'm also human. <sighs> oh, I mean, so you're a werepire? No. Werepire? No. You're a dompier. Werevam? A dompier. Yes. The fuck is that? The offspring of a human and a vampire. Why don't they just call it a werevam? That doesn't sound. At I this call point, myself Apollonia. Yes, that's true. So you does. hear two sets of feet. <coughs> and you yeah, see come. Bill Regal. Um, We're going to have to talk about this later for sure. <laughs> I heard things. Bill Regal says, as instructed, Lady Wayworth, the gentleman. Uh, I would like you. I'd be honored if you all made the acquaintance of uh, Master Darrington. And Bert, if you will, oh, take shit. a moment um, <coughs> to my describe your character. <laughs> I was um, like, where is your character? Sheet? My, uh, <laughs> uh, my back is my back turned. Pause it just a yeah, yeah, yeah. You were you're sort of in here talking about why do they call them wear vamps? Um, <laughs> wear vamps. Uh, so Bert, if you'll just take a moment, you know. Descri you know, uh, initial physical description, <laughs> name, sure. anything you'd like to... Sure. You see uh, an older gentleman. Uh, he's got a little bit of uh, gray coming through on his beard. Um, well-dressed, but not overly well-dressed. He's walking in. Uh, seems to be wearing uh, clothes that would indicate that he works at the university mm -hmm. uh, as he's walking in with confidence, but also it's like a confidence that... Uh, doesn't necessarily match his physical stature, <laughs> oh uh, as he seems to be, you know, not uh, overweight, but, uh, you know, not necessarily in the best physical he's portly. condition. He's uh, Yeah, yeah. Portly. And uh, he's walking uh, with a cane, uh, but it's more almost as if it's for fashion than it is for... Function. Uh, function. And, uh, you know, a little out of breath. 
I don't understand why we needed to come all the way. Are these are Peter, roll your sanity. Yeah, I'm gonna need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I rolled a two. Oh, Somehow. shoot! Nice, that is almost a critical success. <laughs> My back still turned. Do we have one reroll. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to use that reroll. <laughs> that is a failure oh. by by almost twenty. Oh, dang. Peter, you hear a voice that you have not heard in a <laughs> long time. Oh no! <clears throat> what was that, that name? That immediately <laughs> set your blood boiling. What is your name? And I am not Will turning around to face him. Roll for me, please. Two uh, d six. Eight. Okay. Oh wait, um, wait, so wait, wait. That's from my werewolf chart, isn't it? No. <laughs> no, this is this is sanity. So you've lost eight sanity. Oh jeez. Oh. 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 Oh no. Oh. Yeah. Was that reroll worth it? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, no, oh, no. 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 And as oh, dumb. you <laughs> turn <laughs> and see the face of your father. <gasps> Go ahead and roll from that other chart. Oh, dang! I should have told you all my mantra before this moment. <laughs> <laughs> I, I dare say, good sir. Who are you? Peter. Whoa! Oh, no! <laughs> what is that? That's a 10. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, tell, tell us what it means, Peter. As it's written by the GM, transformation, it's on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dang. You. Y yes. You. Yes, I am here, and we've uh, dilly-dallied, as they say. Ah! Long. I'm sorry. Oh, fucking rip your goddamn arms off, you piece of motherfucking shit! Ah! <laughs> I looked down the hall. Who, who is he talking to? I fucking got you! <laughs> and I start transforming. <gasps> oh, my. Oh, God. Oh. Um, I dare say, uh, never mind, continue your conversation. I will be waiting in the car. Peter, calm down, calm Peter. down, Peter. Peter, Peter, please, calm down. I'm a werewolf now. I'm, oh, dear. Uh, no oh, dear. James, back up, Sarah. James and Matthias, this is the first time oh. either of you have ever seen something like this. Oh, my God. James, <laughs> this takes you, I mean, I want to... I'm There's something in you. You feel oh. helpless. Sure. Suddenly, um, like a time you've felt helpless uh, with my friend previously. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We go back in that moment in the war. Oh and will no. you please roll one d six? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Was it worth it? Was it worth that reroll? <clears throat> oh, five. It's a five. Okay. <laughs> Matthias. <coughs> we hardly knew you. Oh, yeah. no. Oh. You're confused. Oh a man God. is screaming at you. You don't recognize him. You don't know who this man is. I dare say. Until the transformation <gasps> begins. Oh, no. And then you know exactly oh. who this is. My boy. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Please roll. Oh, fuck <laughs> you. 1d6. 1d6. No. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Oh my God. One. Oh. <gasps> okay, so in this moment, um, yes, two things happen. Okay, Matthias <clears throat> screams. Oh, <laughs> oh and staggers backwards. I charge. <clears throat> As the beast charges. James, something inside you breaks. Oh no! You see red. This has been too much. You what? need you you need control. <gasps> and you. Oh. You weren't giving your pistol back, were you? I did yes. give it back yeah. to him. Okay. You open fire. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> on the creature. <gasps> I've had, I've had enough. <laughs> Will you please roll your firearms? Sorry about the ears. 
And will you please it's fine. roll your dodge? I'd rather not. Okay. I'm going to focus on charging. Okay. I don't care to dodge. He, I pay no attention to him. Excellent. So for my firearm, am I rolling? Oh, I see. Is it regular, hard, or extreme? Does that matter? This is regular. This is a giant. Of course. Yes. Beast in front of you. It's near point blank. Uh, I would like to reroll that. We are out. Oh! Oh! That's way over. That's 81. Oh, uh, my 50. It's 81. Yes, that's, that's 31 <laughs> over. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, and you're shot. James <laughs> fires wide, wildly. Oh, no. <laughs> Lady Wayworth. Yes. The both of you, please roll your dodge. Okay. Dodge, all right. What was that roll? 81. Okay. Oh, I'm here! Yes. Fucking kill it! Kill the beast! Three! <laughs> okay. I succeed. Your dodge? Oh, your dodge. It's at the bottom. Same thing. It's at the so bottom right corner. Bottom right? Yeah. So it's most likely going to be that. Yeah, those two. Okay. I just need to know which physical dice to roll. Okay. That, what the fuck? That's a five. five. Okay. That's um, insane. <laughs> You're rolling so well. The two of you. And you almost watch each other do it, god damn it. The two of you, I mean, it's just easily. It's Avoid these bullets while James is firing wildly. <laughs> so I charge this directly wolf. up on oh him. God. And I am I am if in I your <laughs> face. Just <laughs> Is there anything that will keep me from There are so many bullets in that <laughs> gun. <laughs> Like, what's the reload? Like, how well, long does it take to reload? It's a flint pistol, so okay. I don't understand pistol. what's happening. Yes. <laughs> cool your jets, gun. Is there <laughs> anything that would keep me right now from ripping his face off? There's one thing that would keep <laughs> him, you, from ripping his face off, and you know the lines that need to be said to do that. Would I? <laughs> Something I thought came from my mother. This right here. Uh, Ooh. Uh, Ooh, it's true. This right here. This right here. This. <laughs> Peter, I dwell in fields of green. Led by his hand, I may drink my fill. From streams where a few have been, though I walk through the death's shadowed veil, I reach out a hand. Stop! Yes. Presence calms every fear. No! When you... Make contact. It right almost there. has the opposite oh, desired effect. <laughs> the wolf pushes past you, Kay. shoves you to the ground Ooh. hard. <laughs> it takes one look at the group, howls. <laughs> <laughs> and breaks away into the night. <gasps> Oh, jeez. I start running <laughs> towards wherever he's going. You can't possibly <laughs> catch up to him. We, we had to kill it. We had to kill it. No. We had to kill it. We had to he kill is it. my son. And I don't care who you are. I slap him in the face. <laughs> James. James. I, I'm so flinchy that <laughs> I, 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 like, I, I shoot, and I don't know if it's going to hit him. I mean... Well, I to, it's a yeah, I mean, you, yeah this, this gun, yeah, yeah, you're, you're out of bullets. bullets by this oh, point, homie. <laughs> That's all right. You're out of bullets. Uh, you can. Uh, so, <laughs> you sort of slap. You slap James. Uh, I mean, James, do you retaliate? I mean, you can always just hit him in the head with a gun. I just go. I, he slaps me, and I just go. <laughs> <laughs> and I like clock him with the back of my gun. Roll against. Uh, oh. Roll your fighting brawl. And uh, let me ask you this, Matthias. Would you want to be just dodging this or hitting him back? Damn. Oh, I'd dodge and run. Okay. <laughs> then I'm going to chase after. Okay. Then you roll your... So what did you roll? I'm over by, like, barely. <laughs> okay. And I'm doing dodge. Mm-hmm. Oh. Hey, you Ooh, succeeded. I made it. Ooh. I made it. Um, <laughs> so uh, this man... <laughs> just tries to pistol whip you basically and you're able to sort of sir step as back. they say in the great <sighs> bathhouses of the roman times cool your jets <laughs> and i run after my son <laughs> i'm going to sprint and overtake him 
I'm going to run ahead to stop him. Okay. Uh, then I'm not going to. I'm not going to ask you guys to roll this. Kay. It's the middle of the night, and your speed is good. It's very good. Um, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to, like, tackle I'm this guy? No, trying I, to I'm, trying to, I'm trying to run and place myself in front of him and basically stop him if I have to clothesline him. That's fine. Matthias, there's a moment where you were just running towards where your son went. Like he Out the window, right? Yeah, he went out the window that's right by the front door. Um, and then suddenly, I mean, just in a blink... This woman is standing in front of you with her hand out. Stop. You don't understand. You can't possibly catch up to him. He is my son. I don't care if he is your son or not. You can't possibly catch him. Not unless you are what he is. And then you'd better transform fast. <clears throat> I dare say we have not been properly introduced. No, I don't believe we have. You start. I am Matthias Darrington. I have two boys that seem to be lost to the darkness this night. And if I may ask you to step aside, I will go find both of them. Not on your own, you won't. My name is Elisa Hawthorne. I didn't entirely lie about my distant cousin relationship to the Hawthorne family, except that is only by virtue of the fact that I exceed the current generation by many years of age. Lady Wayworth, you very much recognize the name Hawthorne? Uh, and yeah, I've caught up with them. Like, as she's taken off, I've just left him in the dust and I've taken off. Oh no, yeah. I'm in the I'm in the building crying and watching <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> like, I know. Who's Sarah. watching her? She's watching I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I've caught up to you guys. Hawthorne, was it? Yes. How many generations? My mother was Lydia Hawthorne. Do I recognize that name? Maybe. I mean, in general, uh, Hawthorne to you equals hassle. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've probably had clientele that have had run-ins with that family mm -hmm. before. That's not a, a friendly name All right. to how, you necessarily. How far back does Lydia Hawthorne go? Would I personally remember her? Lydia's, um, sorry, let me... She's like, she is three generations oh, then back I would not. from okay. the current I'll say, generation. I'll say this. You've never had a personal <laughs> run-in with a Hawthorne. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, she's three generations back. And how old did you say you were again? Well, I appear to be five and 20. I've lived over a century. <laughs> that makes two of us. <laughs> You're just as mad as him. No one's mad here, I assure you. Well, James might. That is a fair assessment, yes. Point. His name is James. James. Why is that significant to you? No, I just want to understand why this lunatic is trying to shoot everyone. <laughs> Excuse me. I have not properly introduced myself. James. Yeah, yeah, James. Yeah, yeah. He's afraid of rather a lot of things. Yeah. Cardamom, for one. Mixed oh. with gourds. You don't, you don't say. I pull out a journal that I have. Tell me more. It's where it's strange phobia. Yes. Yeah, where the... He's afraid of gourds and cardamom. Mm -hmm. Perhaps cinnamon as well. Yes. <laughs> mm. It's Why a terrible time <laughs> to have this fear, I think. important. Why are you writing that down? Just no mind. Never mind. James, I, they're pushing. Roll. <sighs> oh, no. You flash back again <laughs> <laughs> to that moment <laughs> when you realize... You didn't know where your son was? <laughs> that moment of panic? Oh, Steven, Steven, what's my boy? Where's my... He's gone! There's someone talking to me, I have to find him! Steven, where are you? Roll 1d6. Is he with us? He's like in the hallway. He's in the hallway. That's a five, dude. Oh, no. That's a fucking five. These would be great on Thursdays. <laughs> Please remove But it's Wednesday. Five. <laughs> 
so bad. Poor James, please remove James. five from your sanity. Oh my Don't God. forget that you can add sanity back to the players. Oh, yeah, it's there's that. extremely you wanted because the game pity. breaks if we get too low. And there's two more episodes of this. <laughs> I, I look at... I, um, I don't know if, if I'm able to do anything, but I see Sarah, and my mind oh, is no. I have to protect this child. <gasps> okay. So I want to I want to go to her. I'm like, we're going to we're, we're getting out of here. I'm going to protect you. I'm going to take you back to the manor. You will be safe there. We need to flee now. You turn. <sighs> With this girl behind you, and the first person that you see is a person who has very casually been hypnotizing people in front of you. Um, talking very casually about how incredibly old they are. You know that they have to feed. And the first person that you look at is Lady Wayworth. Get back! I've got no card in my monument, it's fine. You get back, you've lied! You lied to me and you will not make a fool out of me or this child! I lied to you about what? You're a monster. You're monsters. James has lost himself. Uh, my James. God! You knew my father, Charles. Yes, was he one of them? Was he just like that too? Was we used to promenade around, uh, around Kensington together. Around noon. Full sunlight. James, this is, this, this is nonsense. This is this is a lie from a monster. You're, you're lying. You take your you're pistol lying. and you swing <gasps> as hard as you you're, can. You you're swing. lying. Get back. <laughs> I want you to roll your... I want you both to roll... This game is brutal. <laughs> so much Jesus. Mass. Is well, I want you to roll your today. fighting brawl, <laughs> Matt. Okay. Mm -hmm. and what am I rolling? You are going to roll your... Uh, you know what? <sighs> At this point, I don't think you really need to roll anything. Okay. Um, I failed. <laughs> I'm rolling so high. <laughs> okay. Can I just you have pop him on the head with my cane? <laughs> um, you sort of swing at this woman who very sort of easily sidesteps and steps backwards. The momentum takes you forward and you fall to the ground. Run, 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 child, run, run. You scream at the girl to run. Run! Get out while you can! Jeez. Go! The girl called Sarah bolts. <sighs> this is the most movement, the most energy you've seen out of this girl since you met her. She's sort of almost been half asleep, it seems like. The girl bolts for the door. And as she bolts, you dive again for Lady Wayworth to sort of cover her escape. Ah! We're not necessarily going to roll this. It would be sort of silly and unfair, but mm -hmm. w uh, what would you do? What, what happens here? As he dives for me, mm -hmm. uh, then can I just, like, pivot away? Certainly. All right, I pivot away. 20 pence, love. Or pounds, love. Before that. James dives for you again. Oh, this is beyond. He's <sighs> scratching and clawing. I am not going to let you hurt any anyone else. None of you. you. This is all because of you. This is all because of fucking you and you. I don't know who you are, but you can be nothing but trouble. You're all full of surprises. Surprise him. And I take off my glove and just slap him again. <laughs> you, slap, you slap James? <laughs> <laughs> no. Take off my glove and I do one of these. It worked the last you time. Hit James yep. again. I saw Sarah yeah. run out. The little little girl, correct? <laughs> yes. We saw her go. We saw the girl go. Uh, James goes for you again, muttering about stakes and holy water and whatever it is that you know about we about we vampires. We have to get holy water. We have he to dives to forward to try to, to wrap creatures. his fingers around your throat. Mm -hmm. Can I just dodge him as he's doing one of these? Certainly. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Get everybody. Oh, get enough you. of this yeah. back and forth. I'm going to get in there and I'm going to bite him. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to grab him and I'm going to latch onto him. Peter, will you roll, will you roll your dodge? 
<laughs> Hope you roll well, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's a good roll, <laughs> but my dodge is bad, so <laughs> I failed again. Okay. Yes. So I leap in and I just grab him and I pull his neck to the side and I latch onto him. <laughs> I'm not here for this, but what the fuck's going on? <laughs> I not to not to kill him, just to drain enough that he can't keep muttering. Just to, you know, calm him down. <laughs> yeah, you know. Just bleed him a little. And then it's, a, it's a sedative bite. Yeah, it's a sedative <laughs> bite. <laughs> this woman is on you in a second, and it's working. You start you, to... You bit me. You bit me. James falls to the ground. <laughs> I'm kidding the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> Matthias is off and running. You bit me. And suddenly the two of you oh find each other alone in this room together. James is on the ground. Sarah's run off. Matthew's after her. Peter's God knows where. <laughs> Leaving the two As of I you. was running, I was like, Mr. Regal, I'll be waiting for you at the coach! <laughs> Regal sort of... Yeah, you sort of run by Regal in the hallway. He's still just sort of standing blankly. So, the judgmental attitude was projection? <sighs> We all have our vices. And what did you call me earlier? A dumb peer. What is that? You'd recognize that as a regional term for what it's you a are, a half term. vampire. Okay. A colloquial, colloquial Colloquialism. It's just nev nothing. That I've, I've never referred to myself as that. <laughs> Sir. Half human, half vampire offspring. That's right, and you are? The same. No, it's not that simple. I'm not strong enough anyway. Not to turn you. Okay. Oh dear. You're going to be all right. That's too much. Hidden swords. Hidden lineage. You asked me what I was hiding. What are you? What other surprises shall we find from you? I am... My family's greatest shame. My mother, Lydia, was the only daughter of Aldric Hawthorne. Famed vampire hunter. Sister to two older brothers. But she was the most talented of all of them, yes. But... She fell victim to a vampire's charms, as it were. I believe that you are familiar. From the stories I've heard, neither one of my parents were victims. Well, it's called love. Eliza. Elisa. Elisa, Lorna, whatever you are. Well, that is lovely. For you, but for me, I don't believe that is the case. My mother was exiled from their family home. I was raised in Inverness. That part was true, but I left there a long time ago. I support my family from the shadows, hoping to somehow atone for some small percent of what I am. Get this clear. If we are the same, and you believe we are, I consider myself to be entirely a human father's offspring. 100%. Matthias, you have chased this girl out the front door. I dare say, wait. I can. Uh, I know it seems crazy in there, but we can um, get you home. Uh, tell me, was there any other boys with? You almost finished that sentence. <gasps> when you see Mr. Eagle's carriage, <gasps> it has been tipped over. <laughs> oh no! It has been torn apart, <gasps> and there's no sign <coughs> of Mr. the young man oh, who was accompanying oh, no. Mr. Eagle. Uh, 
this is rather much for one night. Um, and, and the girl is still running? Or she stopped? She stopped. She's staring at the carriage. Or what was the carriage? And the horses are gone. gone. I slowly walk up to her. I bend down to be closer to her level. I don't know what you've been through, but you are a brave little girl. Do you have a name? She glances back at the building. <laughs> what? She glances it. She looks back to you. And she sort of cocks her head up as if to... She has a secret. <gasps> she has what? A, a secret. secret? Yeah. Oh. A little girl. Lean in and listen know. to her secret. Oh. That's what she's indicating. <laughs> oh, yes. I do. <laughs> Did you... <coughs> They want a Sarah, so I told them I was a Sarah. My name is Alice. I extend a little hand, or my hand, to hers. Alice, I am Matthias. Hello. By chance, in there, did you find a boy named Bartholomew? She takes a moment, and she nods. Oh. Will I find him there in that house now? No. He left before the screaming. Do you know where he went to? No. <laughs> Seems my work tonight is not done. <coughs> Roll uh, your spot hidden. Sure. Oof. <laughs> Oh, that's going to be an 84. That's so an 84. No. <laughs> Unless you're, like, exceptionally good. Are there good. any <laughs> rerolls? There's one. Oh, oh, I'm using that. Oh, wow. Take it. Take, take it. it. Oh, 14. 14. Oof. That is a success. It's alarming that you didn't see him. Huh? carriage is here that sort of two buildings down in the middle of the road is a tall figure <gasps> thin cocked head cocked almost its top half of its body almost as if it's curious about you is standing just watching And we'll return to the ladies. Okay. I'm 100% my human father. And 100% my vampire mother. H am I calmed down? Or am I like... You're... Well, James, you've lost blood. It's you got a good... You're the equivalent of having like a lot of <laughs> like really good pain drugs in you. You're pretty <laughs> out. Stay seated. You're good. Well, despite the mathematical impossibility. If that's too grand of a concept, it's not. Do you wrap your head around love? Do wake up. It's not an affliction. It's who we are. Matthews, will you roll a check against your sanity? Me? Mm -hmm. The one thing I have never felt is shame about this who this I am. Real. It's got to be that number there, right? <laughs> this is not good. You are not part of a what? family what? whose claim to fame was what did you roll? being I able to subdue vampires. No, no, no. It's a three. It's a three. That's a zero. That's a zero. Yeah. So right. you just rolled That's this is the tenth place. Oh, even better. Just rolled very, three. very oh, good, good roll. Oh, good. Even better. Three. Hey, baby. So, okay. Uh, go ahead and subtract one sanity. Sure. The best that I can say is that I have, over the years, <sighs> made peace. Suddenly, you hear from outside this man, Matthias, you've just met. 
and you hear him say, You! You there! What's this all about? Did you do this? Where's my son? I think we should save the personal conversations for later. Come on, James. Oh. And I help oh, him yeah. up. Oh, yeah. Are we leaving now? I, I, I grab his other arm, <laughs> but I kind of shoulder it. Yeah. <laughs> I lost some sense of myself. I, uh, yes, let's go. Let's, let's leave. All right. As you step out of the chapel, you hear something. Something? From back down the hall. That we came from? Just me? Or? Just you. Okay. What does it sound like? It sounds like a voice. All right. Lady Wayworth. Male, female? Male. Yes. Lady Wayworth. Do we hear her responding? Did you respond out loud? I did, not loudly. Just kind of sotto okay. voce, you know. That might have you might have heard her sort of make a sound. I didn't hear a thing. You're all right, James. <sighs> what do I call you? Elisa. Elisa. You got him, right? Yes. I'm, t- I'm James. And I just let <sighs> I just go. lift yeah. him into like okay. a baby carry. Oh, yeah. oh my. No, I firemen's carry him like yeah. over my shoulders. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm there is exceptionally strong. <laughs> you sort of stand quietly in the hallway for a moment, and you let your companions head out the front door, and you look back down the hall. Do I know this you? You will. The voice is coming from the bunk bedroom where you found Sarah. What do we call you? Come ask. (sighs) I'm asking right now. Face to face, or it's not polite. (laughs) Do you really turn down a lady's request? Yes. Not worth my time. I have her. <gasps> Where? Here. Why should I believe you? Lady. You recognize that voice. Did Sarah call me lady? Yes. Whenever she would come by. Her mother made sure she understood the importance of politeness in the society that you've created for yourself. Lady. You see a hand reach out from the door. A child's. You see her face. I step forward. She's pulled back. (coughs) And I follow her. You step down the hall. Towards the last door on the right. The bunk bedroom where you found Sarah. Where you heard your Sarah. Where you saw your Sarah. You step into the bunk bedroom. Sarah, your mother misses you very much. As you step in? Your father does too. They'll never see me again. The room is empty. Not if I have anything to do with it.
No response. I've been looking around. The room's empty. No sign that anyone was here. Can I step out? As you step out. The man from the rooftop, the gaunt man, is there. <gasps> A palm Ooh. snaps up into your face. And there's nothing. <gasps> and that <gasps> is where we'll leave. Oh, jeez. <laughs> You guys, I'm in another city by now. <laughs> 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 You're running across the ocean by this point. Yeah, he's <laughs> in America. Yeah. It's good knowing you. Thank you guys so much. This was a fun one. Thank yeah. you guys so much for, for watching mm -hmm. at home. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you guys for letting me torment you a little bit. Uh, a round of applause for poor Matt. <laughs> Man, this poor, game. Poor put upon, put upon <laughs> Matt. Um, I was so excited. You two figured each other out. Uh -huh. uh, you two sent your characters to me between like within like 20 minutes of each other, and I was like, that'll be fun. Uh, <laughs> we got a lot of werewolfing. That was super fun. It was and good. <laughs> Bert, I'm glad we got you in there, man. You know, you guys will figure out what my shtick is in a minute or two. I think two. we will. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe. yeah, yeah. Maybe. Um, uh, let's <laughs> let's guys. Thank you so Yay. much for your contributions. Yeah. Uh, we've got a couple minutes, if that's yeah, cool. Yeah, uh, yeah, let me let me go ahead and read these. Uh, Doctor Cato, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, subscribe. Thanks so much. <laughs> uh, Doctor Cato. Uh, Rexy G G O R has resubscribed. Thank you so much. He said it's a spoopy night. I agree. It's yeah. yeah. spoopy, yeah. spoopy, night. spoopy night. J Pistol. Yeah, hey, insanity from Matt, who was very confused about where all those bullets came from. Oh that my was. Oh uh, God, <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> that was your final snap. That's what I love about this game <laughs> yeah. is that yeah. you guys are just, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, thanks, Naeem, for that. Uh, <laughs> uh, so Mo Poeno uh, uh, <laughs> said uh, finishing uh, that re-roll and then an extra five towards another. So thank you for the re-rolls. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Superlot, Insanity, Matthias, and James. Uh, that was the moment that the transformation happened. That was when you opened fire. That's oh, my when, God. It was uh, amazing. There was when, so when much you going freaked on. out. Um, uh, Villainous Villain has resubscribed. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Melpolino, uh towards another hashtag reroll. Thank you so much. Uh, Dirty Habanero has resubscribed. Ooh, thank back. you. Uh, Superlot, finish off that hashtag sanity for <laughs> Peter. Um, I read that as an insanity. Whoops. <laughs> You know, <laughs> Oops. you know, you got a bargain. <laughs> no you got five dollars off one. Uh, Sh <laughs> Shadow Uz Uz Uzumaki said, ah, uh, I feel like I owe Zach for giving him the first insanity last week. So here's a start for a hashtag sanity because mm -hmm. werewolves are awesome. Uh, that's the sanity that Superlot finished off that I read as an insanity. That one's on me. <laughs> um, sorry, guys. Uh, Dizzy Aster said, uh, uh, donating uh, uh, with uh, two re-rolls. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Those came in those handy. Really mm -hmm. came Game in. of yeah. Joe B with those dice rolls. James has become Dang, terrified of the crew so dropping him important. from the party. I don't know why. And uh, has given you <laughs> another <laughs> phobia. Which yeah. will come into play next oh, week. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. I was this close to, like... Going up to you, opening up the book with numbers showing and going, what numbers? does this mean? <laughs> Just showing him Tell numbers. Um, uh, I was so sad you didn't go into those caverns oh, uh, that were just oh, covered in math. In. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, <laughs> Jay Pistol, hashtag insanity for Matt. Uh, 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 Foop. I, your name F O O P O I U Y T hashtag reroll. Wait. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nagihama hashtag um, crime is spreading of two gruesome murders along the nearby Ratcliffe Highway located downtown. Both victims' bodies were discovered with their organs and brains reportedly removed in a very brutal fashion. The Ooh. smell of seawater was heavy. Uh. That will be tying in. Bradley oh. Burnett, hashtag phobia for Matthias, has a fear of blood, specifically his own blood. Oh, <laughs> no. That holds up. That's, yeah. that's, that, that will definitely that's that's uh, come great. into play. That fits really good with the character, too, because yeah. he's oh. kind of a little punk. Uh, Mel, P uh, Mel Pimento <laughs> said, uh, have a hashtag reroll just in case Peter unleashes the beast. <laughs> and he did. And he sure did. Uh, Graydon Smith, <laughs> uh, Matthias is scared of the dark. Uh, hashtag phobia. Oh. Uh, so we can uh, uh, roll oh, into that. Shit, yeah. Just add those you've, up. you've already got two. Uh, Shadow Piper, uh, reroll for our Hunters of the Dark. Thank you so much for the mm. reroll. 
Um, <laughs> Justin3314 has resubscribed oh, and Zach. asked, how much for Zach to speak Welsh for an entire <laughs> episode? <laughs> If you that would be amazing. Dollars all at once. As m- like in a Welsh accent or actual Welsh. Actual, actual Welsh. Welsh. Like with like W's and Y's yeah. and yeah. 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 I. We'll talk more about the Welsh thing once we're done with the show. Okay. And right. uh, my fear of trying to do accents in general mm. and my love of Welsh folklore. Uh, <laughs> uh, Metagod six 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 is resubscribed. Thank you so much. Uh, Psycho Freak um, uh, has resubscribed. Uh, I'm back. Uh, Front of Talk has donated a re-roll. Woo! Uh, Kaiju donated. Uh, Kaiju. Uh, Kaiju. Thank you, Thanks, Kaiju. Kaiju. Uh, re-roll. From Little Mouse that the jumps table. is resubscribed. <laughs> Apology has and uh, Two Hand Luke has also uh, resubscribed. Thank you so Woo! much. And um, Uber Baldi has uh, introduced an NPC uh, that we will introduce uh, soon, maybe oh. next week, oh. and. Um, oh. Again, I keep my promises on these uh, weird plot twists that you guys are making. You've uh, last week I rewrote the rest of the show because of uh, these NPCs that you guys dropped in. Wow! So yeah, that's our show, you guys. Did we Thank make you our so gold, or we have our giveaway? That I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't know how to do any of this. I Matt, will you help me? Uh, I don't think okay. we, I don't we, think we were there. Okay, yeah, yeah I don't. I don't think. Right. I don't think yeah. we were there. Uh, so we will hang on to the book uh, for next week. However, and I'll, can uh, can people pre-order? In the you meantime, just, just buy Cyber it. Cyberside. Yeah, okay, out. it's it's for sale. Yeah. So guys, uh, go ahead and buy a copy of Cyberside. Support Bert. He's uh, an amazing storyteller, as mm-hmm. you all mm-hmm. very you well know. know. This by now. And then yeah, next week, if you good. win the giveaway, then you got a copy to, uh, to give we'll, to a friend. And we'll definitely give it a, uh, give a copy away next week for it's hyperdrive. Oh, so it's hyperdrive. Oh, yeah. It is hyperdrive. And we are next doing week, this so make next sure week. Yes. This will be part of programming for the day. So yeah, same this time show will be there. Yeah. Uh, tune in next for Magic the Gathering and yeah. uh, uh, jump into <laughs> that, that Reddit. Reddit. Yeah, yeah. Dude. We'll I see you guys have soon. questions now that I have to ask now that I'm in it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. We'll but see you there. But they kind of got answered. So yeah. I guess <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you, there. see you guys next week. Thanks Bye, for watching. Bye.